Good morning and welcome to this week's Sunday worship. Let us begin our time together in prayer. Lord, thank you that we are blessed. Help us to recognise all that you have given to us. We pray that not only will we reflect on your blessings, we will also seek to be a blessing to others with your help and in your name. Amen. We sing our first hymn, And Can It Be? Irene 
will now bring us this week's reading, followed by the talk. The reading is from Luke chapter 6, verses 17 to 26. Blessings and woes. He went down with them and stood on a level place. A large crowd of his disciples was there, and a great number of people from all over Judea and from Jerusalem, and from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and be healed of their diseases. Those troubled by evil spirits were cured, and the people all tried to touch him, because power was coming from him and healing them all. Looking at his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, when they exclude you, and insult you, and reject your name as evil, because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, because great is your reward in heaven. For that is how their fathers treated the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have already received your comfort. Woe to you who are well fed now, for you will go hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for that is how their fathers treated the false prophets. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Many of us will remember in the 1980s going to Anfield Football Stadium to listen to the American evangelist Billy Graham. Some may have gone to another football stadium during that time to listen to him. But it was a great success. It put the Christian faith and the church on the national agenda. Everybody was talking about it. And some people went... Uh, to listen to him and were challenged and made a commitment and became a member of a church for the first time. It was a wonderful experience and it was all done certainly in the power of the Spirit but also by having a preacher who was engaging, who was challenging and sometimes made people feel as if they needed to do something different with their lives. Well, in our Bible reading today, we read again the Sermon of all Sermons, the Sermon on the Mount. As we often read in the Bible, people were gathering to listen to what Jesus had to say. But on this occasion, there was quite a crowd there. And what they, what they heard Jesus say would make some people feel encouraged, happy, rejoicing. Some people may feel a little threatened, a little challenged. Well, it is the usual themes, the themes we expect Jesus to speak about. Wealth and authority are not bad in themselves. It's not bad to be rich. It is not bad to have authority. But if you use your wealth or your authority to abuse people, to oppress people, that is not good. Instead, why not follow the values that come from the kingdom of God, using your life and all that you have within your life for the benefit of other people? So be kind. Store up treasure in heaven in the way you treat people. Be humble, because Jesus the Messiah did not come to be served but to serve. Be loving. Allow the fruits of the Holy Spirit to grow in your life. Live your life for the benefit of others. Showing love in practical ways. Don't just talk about it, do it. And of course, be gentle. We are the body of Christ and we need to give special attention to those weaker members, those people who are struggling. So be kind, be humble, be loving, be gentle. If we do follow Jesus' teaching 
if we do listen to the sermon and reflect a little more upon it. Then it should lead us to think differently in the way we live our lives and in how we relate to other people. Because Jesus came for the benefit of each one of us. We need to go out into the world for the benefit of other people. Making people aware of his kingdom values, not just in the words we speak, but in the way we choose to live our lives and in the way we choose to relate to people and the world around us. Amen. We sing our next hymn, Dear Lord and Father of mankind, forgive our foolish ways. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Lord God, we pray for an end to all racism and injustice throughout society, at home and abroad. We pray for those ostracised, hated and rejected because of race, because of faith, because of their opinions and way of life. Lord God, who loves to bless, Hear our prayer. We pray for the hungry throughout the world, the people of Yemen, where malnutrition is rife, those parents so desperate they're selling their organs in exchange for money to feed their families. We pray for those struggling too in our own country, in our own communities, those having to rely on food banks, those too proud to seek help. Lord God, who loves to bless, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are in need of your hand at this time, those in hospital, 
and all caught up in the NHS backlog of appointments and operations. Those mourning loved ones, those in abusive relationships, deprived of love by those around them. Lord God, who loves to bless, hear our prayer. We pray for all who govern and guide, for the government today. Help politicians unite and lead us forward through the economic and health consequences of the pandemic. For the Church, may it stand firm on your kingdom values, serving as you would serve. Lord God, who loves to bless, hear our prayer. May the power of your blessings be with us all as we live in you, bearing abundant fruit with which to bless others in your holy name. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We'll now celebrate this week's birthdays, followed by the gallery. Happy birthday to you. Today is Racial Justice Sunday, an opportunity for us to give thanks to God for the diversity within his creation and also remind ourselves that we are all brothers and sisters sharing the same Heavenly Father, created in his image. So let us pray. Father, you created each one of us in your own image. Yet yours is a world made glorious by its rich diversity. This we sometimes misunderstand, sometimes fear. Give us the patience 
to build on what unites us, to celebrate our differences and to learn from them. Grant us the wisdom to recognise your church beyond the walls of a building, reaching out across all communities, countries and cultures. Give us the courage to offer refuge to those in need, to challenge prejudice and to seek justice for all. Help us to see you created us in your image, neighbour or stranger, always our brother or sister. Amen. We sing our final hymn, Lord, the light of your love is shining. Let us pray. Lord, as we step into this week, help us to cultivate 
our relationship with you. We want to be rooted in you. Show us our barriers to receiving your blessing. Help us not only to recognise how blessed we are, but also to show us ways that your blessing can overflow to others through us. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.